to another two episodes of Fair and Beyond Journeys and, or as I like to call these series, Nate, cause people's names I can't say. I'm just kidding. Anyway, though, it looks like we've gotten a lot more backstory on um, Stark and how his his family was a group of warriors, basically, that believed that the strong survive and the weak die kind of situation. But yet his brother still believed in him, so they looked like they encountered a demon, it seemed like, and... From what it is, what I'm assuming, because we didn't get much more than that, is they decided to fight the demon, and they're all kind of no longer with us. So Stark's birthday, he didn't really know what a birthday gift was, because the closest thing he ever got was a ham steak, which Baron made because of his mentor was being was one of her uh, teammates. So that's all. It's really wholesome and nice that they're adding all these details into the series and dragging each of these characters out. I wonder if anyone else is going to be joining their little party to go fight the Demon King. So, uh, look forward to that. Anyway, though, without further ado, let's get into these two episodes right here. Episode 13. Episode 13. Wait, isn't this, like, the king or the leader of the town that they just saved? Or who is this? It's a different guy, okay. Oh, of course she'd be like that. He'd be he he'd be almost dying. She's like, oh, hi there. You know, I right, I'll just listen. <laughs> oh my god! Jesus, girl. See if her off her spell she'll do it. Oh my god. <laughs> she's so fantastic. <laughs> Guy's literally about to fucking drown in mud and she's like, oh I don't remember. Give me a minute. Did he really just get, yeah. Oh god, I hate to see what she means by transport. <laughs> oh, they don't believe it. <laughs> it's Stark. It, it, it's nine. It's Stark. They, they gotta realize that he's an idiot. Oh, did he heal him? Those brains not gonna come out of his nose? So he left, and that's why he probably gained some abilities that his brother didn't have. Oh my god, are they about to get another drunken fucking face? Is he about to lose a shit ton of money? <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be great if he joins the party. <laughs> He's going to get him in so many situations like this. <laughs> oh 
Is Farron and Fern and Farron gonna go have to go get their clothes back? No option. Oh my god, yes. Of course she was raised by him. But I mean she said so, so I guess I'll call the best medicine. Now right time to go stock myself, I guess. Oh my god, and they keep doing it. <laughs> She's basically great grandma. Oh my god, she's selling herself too with it. <laughs> she's got no sex appeal. Because he's a he, he he's he he's he's a, he's a lolly lover. Oh damn, big bro's got to show him. Damn, all it took was brother to smack him a few times. I uh, don't tell me the idiot Stark's gonna touch another fucking deadly snake. <laughs> oh man, so we got another party member. Oh, it's kind of sad, but interesting the fact that they keep tra retracing the old hero party steps. <laughs> Howdy face, go. God, this music goes hard in the background. Oh, someone's eavesdropping. <laughs> you like a little fucking wasted. It's so awesome and cute. <laughs> She's doing the same.
Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> She's not wrong, though. <laughs> the poor horse is like, let me free, let me free. I love how she keeps comparing him to him, even though the dude's fucking a natural as hell. And they 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 lived. The horses levitate. <laughs> The poor horse is kind of there. <laughs> he's not gonna he's gonna get a lot of shit isn't he oh she's got a nice fair and blanket lost her ring though Oh, that's handy. It's just, just, by chance happens to have a fucking scroll with the fucking spell on it. Good job. Oh, oh, oh. Again, this music is going fucking hard right now. God, the music, the score is just incredible. <laughs> Four star, you try so hard. Oh my god. Why does the music in the series go so goddamn hard? They're like, fuck, fuck. The score is incredible. Like, it really sells these scenes. Like, most anime, yeah, the scenes are important, but I don't know. They really emphasize that score in the background, like the music going on. A lot of anime, they do have music, but they're not as, like, they don't, like, okay, so whenever a scene like that happens, they won't, like, raise, like, a, a giant orchestra, like, the really, like, in okay, so, like, in a, in a lot of music, like, especially orchestra music, I mean, in music in general, there's always a hype part. They, they like go from like this soft, melodic kind of sound, and then whenever the important part happens, it really they use the build up of the actual music, and they're doing it so well in the series, and it just sells these scenes so much more. And of course, the style of music is really helping too, because it really gives the feel of scenery, the back background, the tone of the series, everything. Incredible. Anyway, though, no ranting about that. It's just stuff that I'm really noticing and loving about it. So yeah, if you're liking the video, you want to continue watching, slash subscribe button, I'll see you guys in the next.